And welcome back to the Denver Coliseum. I am Dane Johnston, and we have finally reached the zenith of our day. It is the final match of the day. It is the Gunnison Cowgirls, and they're going to face off against the Colorado Springs Christian Lions. Wow. It has been a long day and a good day. Three five-set matches here in the 3A tournament. And we have reached the final match. I'm Dane Johnston, and welcome in. We're about ready to get going here. Colorado Springs Christian lost earlier to Bayfield, so they need to win this match, just like our previous match, which was Roaring Fork and Eaton. Roaring Fork defeated the defending champions in five sets. And we are underway. And there we go. And the first point goes to Gunnison. <laughs> Too long on the serve. And Gunnison comes in a little shorthanded. Only eight players listed on their roster. So they must not go very deep. And that one is long by Jordan Wallen. She misses it. Coach Shanna Benson's Cowgirls come in at 22-3. They won the Western Slope crown undefeated 9-0 by one game over Roaring Fork. They beat Strasburg and Alamosa in the region to win to get here. They beat Roaring Fork twice, Broomfield, Olathe, and Montrose and lost to Delta, Montrose, and Valley. And we've got a 2-2 score here. The Lions in their black uniforms and gold. And hammered down Jordan Wallen with a kill. She comes in second on the team with 154 kills on the year. Alyssa Nelson is the leader. Going outside, and that's Abby Straskins, or Scrastins, with the kill on the far side, and we're tied at three. And a miss by Alyssa Nelson on her first attempt at a kill. She had 199 kills and 130 blocks, so she was definitely a force on the inside. Bad thing for Gunnison is they've had to wait around all day to play, and it kind of shows. Oh, nope. They're going to give that a tip ball. They're going to say that was tipped. And they asked for, they say that was tipped instead of just going out. So that's a, a score. So let's give that to uh, Wallen. Kill. <coughs> Scrastins with another kill. That one in the middle. <coughs> and it's 4-5. And into the net goes Mariah Evans. Her serve. So we're tied at five. Now serving Sydney Archuleta for Gunnison. And that's an ace by Sydney Archuleta. The Gunnison Cowgirls have won 20 straight matches since they started two and three. And every and the last 12 of those were three game sweeps. So they have done very, very well to get into this tournament.
And down and in, Brooke Stevens gets the kill for Gunnison. 22-3 and three they come in. This is the first ever trip to the state tournament for the Cowgirls of Gunnison, and they, I'm sure, can't be more excited. Scraston's with a nice swing. Oh. Back to Coke. And that one's in. Jessica Koch with the kill. And it's 7 6 Gunnison. And out. Scrastins with the service error. And now that's going to give uh, Nelson the serve. Overpass, back over the net. In on the back line by Kayla Albers. And then Nelson tried to go with a little trickeration of her own and short. And we're going to have a redo as the ball comes running in from the other side of the court. Or rolling in, whichever you prefer. And they do keep it alive. Nice job. Both teams keeping it alive. Oh, hammered down outside. Brooke Stevens with the kill. That's her second. And that was a mistake by Scrastons. Abby Scrastons tried to just touch pass that over and not able to get it. And it's 11-7. Back set. Nice block at the net. And that one is out. That was uh, Evans with the kill attempt, and that one was gone. So 12-7. Nice short serve. Joust at the net, one by the Lions. Riley Heckert won that one at the line. And trying to get a nice job of trading blows here. And they get it in. It worked out as Jordan Wallen got the kill. And there are four. And a timeout called here by the Lions, I think, as they trail now 13-8. Hey, just a reminder that our volleyball coverage is presented in part by College in Colorado, where higher education is the key to a student's future. From improved salaries to unique experiences and greater life choices, collegeincolorado.org can help your student create a lifelong plan and explore their dreams for the future. That's collegeincolorado.org. Final matches are all underway. Most of them well, well underway. 
In fact, it looks like uh, that final, final match on Class 2A is done. Uh, I don't know who won that one, but it's over. I believe Yuma defeated, won that match, I'm pretty sure. So Yuma, I think, beat Fowler, and so they are going to move on tomorrow. And 2A is finished until tomorrow. And there you go. There is a ace. Leanne Schleesman. And it's 15 to 8. Nice rally here. Both teams fighting hard, especially at the net. Trying to sneak one by, they couldn't. And on the other side, nope, in the net. They're going to call her again. Mariah Evans, they're going to call her in the net. And that's an error. And that serve there by Leanne Schleesman was in the net as well. So error followed by an error. Are they going to be able to save it? Looks like they do. And Kaylor Albers hammers it home for the kill. She had 141 kills on the year, including 157 blocks. And it's 17 to 9, Gunnison. Gunnison's been amped up, I'm sure, all day, just wanting to play. Nice job on the far side. I believe that was Taylor Stevens with the kill. And off the block and out as Alyssa Nelson gets a kill, her first of the match. She's the team leader in kills coming into the tournament with 199. Four players, as I was saying, for Gunnison have over 100 kills on the year. So they're all capable. And another ace. And that's the libero who is the... Uh, is doing the, the acing here. Oh, and that one's in. Overpass. And nope. They did not get the ace call, but... They got the easy pass over. Oh, man. Brooke Stevens hammered it home. That's her third kill. She's fourth on the team with only 114 kills, but my gosh, that was good. Twenty to ten now, Gunnison ahead. That looked like a lift, but not called. And finally, they get it to not come down. And that was number eight, Riley Heckert, that got that kill for the Lions. Off the block. And unable to get that over the net. Hitting error on Heckert there. 21-11. And my guess is Jennifer Evans of the Lions doesn't want to do anything rash here. And another ace, if they'd have let that go, it would have been gone. That would have been long. Instead, it's an ace. 
Another one for Sydney Archuleta. That's two, and it's 22 to 11. Oh, Brooke Stevens could not quite get that one over the net. She was trying to go cross court and couldn't do it. So 22 to 12. On to Abby Scrastens is back to serve. And nice job, Alyssa Nelson does get credit for the kill. Miscommunication on the inside. It's 23 to 12, two points away from taking this first set. And it's in on the far side. And give Mariah Evans a kill. She pushed it over into the corner. 23-13. And back down, hammering it down is Brooke Stevens. She's leading the team right now with four kills, and they're one point away from taking the opening set fairly easily. Quick set and a block. Nice job to keep that going. Oh, and a miss hit by uh, Maddie Stevens. And that's going to be the first set. So 25-13 as Gunnison wins it, it pretty easily. We'll see what happens in set number two. We'll be right back. You're watching the Class 3A State Tournament on Chassada TV.
Welcome back to the Denver Coliseum. I'm Dane Johnson here, ready to get started with set number two here in the final match of the day, match eight in the Class 3A pool play today. <laughs> Gunnison and Colorado Springs Christian. Gunnison takes the first set, 25-13. And they start things off in the third set, or in the second set. And that block goes out of bounds. That's going to be a point, I believe, to Cope. Koch. I'll find out tomorrow for sure. Nice job right there, Jordan Wallen. Over on the 5A court, the team in blue one, I think. But I don't know who that is. Might be Grandview. I don't know. Over here, Wallen with the attempt and the kill. Jordan Wallen. She's got five kills on the night. Again, the first trip to state to the state tournament for the Gunnison Cowgirls. And they're going to try to take advantage of it. Oh, hammered down. Believe that was Taylor Stevens, number nine. Back to serve, Maddie Stevens. And Kayla Albers with the kill. That gives the serve to Marissa Denos. Or no, uh, Sarah Shamblin, and she gets the ace as they could not corral it. She tries it again, and she could not quite get the turn on it. She was trying to get the English, so to speak. So that's an error. It's 5-3, though, Gunnison in the lead. Wallen almost got another tip ball. That one, ooh, it's in. On the back side, that's Taylor Stevens again. She's got three. Nice tip job by Jordan Wallen, and she's got it in there. For a kill. Brooke Stevens, ooh, almost got that kill. They're going to get it over. She gets another shot. This one she puts in. Five kills for Stevens and Wallen. Actually, Wallen's got six. Three for Albers. And Nelson with two. And Danos could not get that one to go over. Stevens has it knocked out. Going to go backside now. Oh, and that's going to go just a little bit long as Alyssa Nelson is, seems a little bit off early in this match. She's trying to find her way. And it's 7 6. Gunnison still in the lead. Outside Stevens. That one's blocked. Kept alive and over the net. Oh, nice job of keeping that alive by Sydney Archuleta.
Well, four hits. Say that hit the net cord and not the player. So four hit violation. And a quick timeout going to be called by Coach Shannon Benson. Adams State University celebrates a diverse student population, academic excellence, and athletic success. ASU is focused on treating each student as a unique individual with the potential to positively contribute to their community, nation, and the world. For more information, visit adams.edu. That's adams.edu. <laughs> Next time you come to stay in Denver, check out the Red Lion Hotel Denver Central. It's a unique hotel located between downtown Denver and DIA. The Red Lion Hotel on Quebec Street in Denver. Check it out. Looks like Norwood is firmly in control against Kit Carson on the 1A court. Already up two sets to none and leading decisively in set number three. So it looks like they're going to advance. And we are set out of the timeout. On the outside, Gunnison keeps it alive. Daniels with the attack from the back row. And a tip kill. I believe that was Evans. And Brooke Stevens, oh, nice job of getting it up. Nice stuff block there by Alyssa Nelson. Wow, great stuff block. And it's tied at eight. First set went to Gunnison. <coughs> Lions trying to keep their season alive. And Jessica Koch did it right there with a uh, kill. That's her third. And nice job. She was kind of off balance, but Alyssa Nelson got the kill. And we're tied at nine. And a nice block, great job. Two-person block there, that was uh, Albers and Stevens. Give them both a block there. <coughs> Nelson with the serve. Outside to Brooke Stevens, in there for a kill. Brooks got six. And make it seven. Nice job for Stevens. Jump serve by Nelson. Stevens almost got another one just by flicking at it. Nice way to keep that one alive. They do. Nice job. Wow, almost another stuff block. And that one is in. And I believe that kill went to Evans. I'm not sure. I think she's got three.
And Brooke Stevens with another kill. This is kind of opposite day. Brooke Stevens was the low person on the totem pole for kills. She's got the most, followed by Wallen. Then um, Nelson and Albers both tied with three. And that one's long. Scraston's tried to get it in there. But she was a bit deep. It's 14 to 10. Short serve. And that one is in. Give that to Coke. Albers with the attempt. Kept alive. Nice rally here. Free balled over. <coughs> Albers again, nice rally here by both teams. Now they're going to say in the net, number 10. George, or Alyssa Nelson, so. <coughs> and then a serve into the net following that. So it's 15-12, still a three-point lead for Gunnison. And there's an ace. An ace for Leanne Schleesman. She's got two now. And then she got it in. Albers had her shot come right back to her. And she hammered it down. She's got four. Nice, nice dive to keep that one alive. They'll just free ball it over to live again. Oh, nice job again. Oh, and a stuff block. Com combination, Carolyn Al Kayla Albers and Sydney Archuleta. <clears throat> and a timeout going to be called here as they trail 18 to 12. CSCS. Our state championship coverage is provided in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance will be there the day you buy your first car and the day your first child is born and the day you file your first claim. We'll be there to make sure your insurance coverage keeps up with all the changes in your life. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. Get real coverage. At Adams State, our students appreciate the fact that they're not seen as a number in the sea of faces that it feels like home here. Small class sizes and caring faculty make a positive difference when it comes to student success. Get the support you deserve and choose the right path to your future at Adams State University. For more information, visit adams.edu. Out of the timeout. Be another serve and a net court and an ace for Schleesman, that's two. Actually, that's three total. 19-12. And a lift. Lift called on Albers, which it was.
Only two matches going on right now. Our match right here and the 5A match just started, so we're actually ahead of the 5A court, which I didn't think was could be possible. That block did not work, and Scrastins gets the kill. That's our third. I guess not. I thought she did. I thought she got the kill, but I guess they gave the point to Gunnison. I'm not sure what that was. And they give it right back. Sarah Chamblin. Stevens tries for the kill, now back over. And Scrastens gets it that time, splitting the defenders. It's 20 to 15. Gunnison still ahead. And a miss hit by Jordan Wallen. It's 20 to 16. Four-point lead, and Shanna Benson yelling at her cowgirls to wake up. <laughs> nice job to keep that alive and keep things going here. And down and in for the kill it is Wallen. Trying to do a quick kill, can't get it. And down and in, nice job. That's Schleesman there with the kill, her first of the match. And it's 22-16. Uh-oh. I don't know, they're not hurt. They just got tangled up. And kept it alive outside to Stevens. She keeps it alive now off the block. Nice job. And again, Scrastins comes up with a big kill. Outside, tip kill, and that's down and in by Archuleta. Good job by Sydney. And it's 23. And that one is down. An ace, and it's set point, 24-17. And it's long. The attempt by Co Coke is long, and that's the set. It's 25-17 the win in the second set. Gunnison cruising through this last match. We'll be back for the third set to see if Gunnison can go ahead and close it out right after this. You're watching the 3A State Volleyball Tournament on Chassa TV.
Welcome back to the Denver Coliseum. I'm Dane Johnson here getting set for set three of the last match of the day. Gunnison and CSCS. The Lions trailing the Cowgirls from Gunnison two sets to zero. As we start this third set, they will get the chance to serve as we start things off here. So the Lions will start things off with the serve, and right away, Jessica Koch puts it right into the net. A frustrating day for the uh, Lions so far. And right down there and in for Jordan Wallen. She adds to her total. She's got eight kills. And then Evans can't get that one over. It's quickly 3-0. And that one is wide by Maddie Stevens. It's 4 0. Schleesman on the serve. Archuleta can't get to that one. And Maddie Stevens is going to have the serve here. And that one is deep by Schleesman. Oh, nice fortunate bounce for Jordan Wallen as she dig killed it over the net, hit the net cord and bounced down. Good job for her. And off the block, Taylor Stevens gets a kill, her fourth, for the Lions. Five to three, our score. Nelson fought at the at the net there and then off the block Scrastens gets the kill. <coughs> down the center court. She's in double figures now with 10 kills. She'll take a seat, and the incoming is Marissa Danos. And there it is. I believe that was Brooke Stevens on the kill. Danos with the serve again, <coughs> leading seven to four. A oh, hammer down, Alyssa Nelson. She's got four.
And Danos hits that one into the net. Brooke Stevens trying to get the tip kill, can't get it. And that one is out by Evans. She's deep. <laughs> it's 9-5, though. Gunnison in control. Cross-court kill for Stevens was no good. 9-6. Ace for Abby's Scrastons. And give uh, Stevens the kill. She kind of stuff blocked that right down. <coughs> 10-7. And a tough block. Albers and Stevens nailed it. Eleven to seven. You can just sense that Gunnison is just wanted to wants it a little bit more right now. That one's going to be a kill for Maddie Stevens as that goes off the block and out of bounds. <laughs> Stevens, it was tipped. Yep. Stevens gets the kill. Twelve eight. And they hammered it. <laughs> Was Taylor Stevens. She's got five. Oh, nice touch right there by Leslie Schleesman, or Leanne, sorry. She gets the tip kill, and it's 13 to 9. And nice quick set and kill right there for Taylor Stevens. And she's got six kills. And then the serve by Maddie Stevens does not get over the net. And that's a service error. That one is in. All of a sudden, it's a, just a three-point game, 14-11. <laughs> nice job by Alyssa Nelson, the leader in kills for these Columbine Cow or the uh, Gunnison Cowgirls. Just made it up to five here. Brings Marissa Danos back there to serve the libero. She goes, and oh, nice ace right there. That's her second of the match. 
Wonderful ace, and it's 16-11. <clears throat> Almost had another one there. Off the blocks, Scrastins with the kill. 16-12. <clears throat> Outside goes to Stevens, and that's going to be, I believe, nope, look, they're going to save it. Oh, no, they didn't. That's another kill for Brooke Stevens. And that one is in. That's Riley Heckert with the kill. Picked up. Outside Stevens, oh, she hits the net. Four hits. And it's back to a two-point deficit now for the Lions. Scrastons with the serve. Almost missed that. Oh, in the net call. guessing that must have been so now it's a one point match outside to Stevens she can't get it down nice dig now Brooke Stevens in between the two defenders and down Brooke Stevens has 13 kills here. And she was the low one on the totem pole. Ah, oh, she can't handle that one, though. And we've got a side out, and it's, it's a one-point game now. I'm just shocked that our, that our court is actually ahead of the 5A court because we've been behind everybody all day. That's all I have to say. Panos, Danos keeps it up. Over to Albers. Oh, right down the line. Kayla Albers nails it. She's perfect. Five for five on her kill attempts. Albers now just free balls it over as they have a two-point lead again. Gunnison trying to close this thing out. And they do. Maddie Stevens gets the kill. 19-18, <coughs> it's back to a one-point game. Gunnison leads two sets to none. Oh, and an ace by Coke. We're tied. Now 
Nice save on the free ball. Leishman, and she pops it up. Almost. And it was out, it was out. Yep, it was out. That one was off and that was out, so that was a kill for Jordan Wallen. It hit the cord, so 20-19 to 19 they lead, leading two sets to none. Surprised there haven't been more timeouts taken here as the game has gotten tight, but I'm kind of glad they haven't. Quick up and a kill for Taylor Stevens. And we're tied again at 20. And Archuleta mishits it. That one's out. And all of a sudden, CSCS is ahead, 21-20. Timeout. People count on Farm Bureau Insurance for quality products, fast, fair claim service, and insurance coverage that makes sense. That means you get the protection you need along with some of the best discounts available. People from every walk of life depend on Farm Bureau Insurance, and you can too. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. Get real coverage. Hey, the next time you're in Denver, try to stop at the Red Lion Hotel, Denver Central. It's a unique hotel located between downtown Denver and DIA, the Red Lion Hotel on Quebec Street in Denver. <coughs> Coming out of the timeout, Lions will have the serve. Weren't able to get a good pass on it. And right down in the middle as Scrastins takes advantage and then uh, Taylor Stevens takes advantage. 22-20, the Lions lead. <coughs> they keep it alive. And down. Archuleta, just her second kill of the match, but could be really big as they cut it to one. And that brings in Sarah Shamblin to serve. She does have one ace on the day. And right on the blocks, four hit violation, Abby Scrastens. And we're tied again. <laughs> Shamblin. Goes deep with the serve. That's a back set. Tries to tip that in. Wallen almost got the kill. And there's another little tip right there. They just gave up on that particular one. Scraston's now down and in for the kill. Wallen almost had another kill there. Nice job to get that up. Nice block and down and in. Block in there for a, a block kill. Alyssa Nelson there with the block. And we're tied again. Danos with the serve. Gunnison keeps it alive. Stevens hammered it down. Brooke Stevens has been quiet for a while, but she was loud there. And they have the lead, and it's match point. And a timeout going to be taken here by the Lions. Their season on the line. If they lose here, they're done. <laughs> Again, a reminder, our volleyball coverage is presented in part by College in Colorado, where higher education is the key to a student's future. From improved salaries to unique experiences and greater life choices, collegeincolorado.org can help your student create a lifelong plan and explore their dreams for the future. That's collegeincolorado.org.
Again, CSCS lost to the to the other team in the in pool number three, Bayfield, earlier today. So if they lose again, they're done. Bayfield and Gunnison play tomorrow at 11 a.m. This is it, match point. Almost got it. And that's it. That is it. They got it. There's a four-hit violation inside, and that is it. 25-23. That is the final. Gunnison wins over CSCS, and uh, the Lions will be going home with an 18-9 record, but a uh, very good season. They made it here to Denver. That's going to do it for day number one. Day number two tomorrow. Bright and early, 8 o'clock in the morning. We will kick things off with University versus St. Mary's. I may be here calling that. I'm not sure. We will find out. You'll just have to tune in to see. Thank you. And for everybody here helping me out, Gil, thanks. Jim, thanks. Appreciate it. Everybody, uh, I want to thank everybody for that. Thanks for watching as Gunnison finishes things off here in 3A with the victory. You've been watching the Class 3A State Volleyball Tournament on Chasset on TV.